So I'm an emerging technology specialist and um, I work for the University Information Technology Services as part of Client Services IU Anywhere team. So IU Anywhere is the software we use to virtualize Windows applications so that they're available on any kind of device anywhere in the world. Part of how this job evolved came about through explaining how to get set up with IU Anywhere. And in that process of showing people on a variety of different devices, I realized that people could really use help understanding devices and what they're capable of. So the things I focus on are what's really new, what's really unique that I haven't seen before. Some of the most exciting things are like virtual reality, augmented reality. Uh, so those are things like the Oculus Rift with the 3D headset or like the Google Glass where you can be out there and not have your face in your phone but still be able to get all of your digital information. And it's very confusing to know everything about technology and what's out there and I think it's important in helping people stay in touch with what really drew them to the field in the first place to see like all the amazing things you can do with technology. I run the space in the cyber infrastructure building and it's basically meant for people to come and visit and interact with these new tools that they might not otherwise be exposed to. Right now, the space is on 10th and the bypass, so it's a little bit off campus. So my goal is to create a space on campus that's really easy to get to, where people can try stuff out and hopefully even build things for these tools. TechBytes is a video series. It's about how to use technology at IU. Hi, I'm Nita Chris, and this is a TechBytes. So I've started out by talking about the differences between different tablets because that's kind of confusing, I think. Like, for example, all the iPads look the same. So I did a performance test and we videotaped that to show how they differ. What I want to start getting into more of are some of the cool stuff that I have, like the stick PCs and Google Glass and also, some of our services for new students, like how to set up IU Anywhere, what things work really well, how to set up your cloud storage, because there aren't any videos that show people how. And I think anymore, like we live in a YouTube age, and it really helps to be able to see someone do something instead of just read about it. There's not a super clear career path, per se, to get to do what I'm doing. Um, you could define some of my role as applied engineering. But basically, if you look around, you know, and think about what, what's needed and think of ways to help, that that's always going to be really valuable.